Good evening. This is the video newsletter for BuySellShort.com for Tuesday, June 23rd. All in all, a pretty decent session today. We had a big sell-off yesterday. We did end the day down 16 points. Uh, we pretty we should have closed in the green, but if you pull out uh, Boeing's tank down 10% because they had to delay the flight of their jet, uh, we would have been looking at a green close, which would have been very nice. As I mentioned in the chat room, we've got a, a lot of shorts have gotten sucked into the market over the last couple of days. A lot of uh, quotation marks smart bulls have uh, started shorting again, which is typical of quotation marks smart bulls after we've had a 600 point drop in the Dow over a couple of weeks. This is about the time they start getting the balls uh, and start shorting. And that usually indicates that a reversal is coming. We've got the FOMC meeting tomorrow. Over the last few FOMC meetings, we've seen a very nice pop in the market going into the uh, Fed meeting. So let's see if we see some of the same again today. Flip over to the daily chart. As you can see, we had another close below the 50-day moving average. If we didn't have the uh, tank in Boeing today, we would have had a very nice candle bottom on the Dow. If we scroll down a little, stochastics are in oversold territory, so that is a positive sign for us in the near term that and you know everyone on their mom uh is bashing this market right now hates it says we're due for big retrace you know the end is near blah 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 usually indicative of a reversal uh as a side note we were joking in the chat room today i was talking about how the market you know gapped up this morning and then sold off on the housing number oh my god the housing number was so bad today uh it didn't sales did not increase as much as they expected i mean a month ago they were complaining that uh, sales kept dropping and dropping and you know here they are complaining that sales weren't up as much i also mentioned in the uh, chat room if you actually read the housing report this was the first time in four years that sales have increased two months in a row wouldn't you think that would be the headline for the report uh not you know that uh, home sales didn't go up as much as expected but that for the first time in four years we've had increasing sales for two months well, that sounds kind of bullish to me but you know the game right now on tv and in the media is to bash the market so that they can load the boat for the window dressing that is about to begin into quarter end let's flip back over to the daily chart on the dow very nice bullish falling wedge we have here little consolidation Thought we'd close above 8,400 today. Well, we just didn't get that traction, but we'll see what happens tomorrow. Breakout is 8,450, and in my opinion, we see 8,600 before we see 8K, and we should see the market pop tomorrow. After hours, earnings reports uh, were pretty decent. We had Oracle come out. They hit the mid-range. Stock was up. We had IBM come out. Stock was flat. Not exactly what the bears want to see for their market rolling over. If we were going to be rolling over, you would see Oracle and IBM selling off. And instead, they are flat and up. So things looking pretty good for tomorrow. Shorts are probably going to be hitting the message boards tonight, trying to drum up some fear. But on all likelihood, they will be covering tomorrow. SMH, nice little bottom candlestick today. 50-day moving average has been... Showing tremendous support for a lot of stocks. SMH hit it today. We should see it spike off this tomorrow. Keep a very close eye on the SMH. Over 21, we are solid. When the market was green this morning, I mentioned in the chat room that the SMH was not participating and that the rally early in the day was fake and not to be trusted, and we ended up going red. So keep an eye on the SMH tomorrow, but I think uh, this 50-day moving average and this handle camera here, candle here should see a nice pop tomorrow. Stock plays, BCON, a uh, very nice recovery today. This stock went from breaking down early in the day to a nice late day rally. What this is telling me, yesterday they had uh, pretty bad dilution news, stock held flat, sold off today, bounced back and ended green. There's news coming on BCON. Uh, just judging by the action, or the, you know, the action in this stock, the crooks have been leaked good news and probably the DOE news is coming any day now. Uh, if we get DOE news, we should see a very big spike on this stock. A play on this is Capstone, CPST. VIX actually led the uh, alternative energy sell-off over the last few days. Touched its 50-day uh, moving average today and bounced back nicely. So we should see 
continuation in this tomorrow to the 90s. DPTR, this was a late trading alert today. We've been uh, monitoring this for the last few days. Oil was up sharply, uh, dollar sold off today, and this is our favorite oil play. Stops $1.75 on this one, and as mentioned in the alert, we're looking for a bounce to the 20-day exponential. That is at 213. 225 is the breakout on this one. You know, we did the same thing. We tagged this one about a month ago uh, at $1.80, and we ended up getting, what, 30% uh, move over the course of a week. So let's see if the same thing can happen here again. ONT, I uh, mentioned this was my favorite trade going into this week. A little bit of weakness yesterday. Nice little spike early in the day today, but the chart looks very, very good. Strong support at 40 cents. Breakout is a close above this 47 cent area. We're about to get a positive MACD cross on the stock. ADX remains strong. And as you can see, Stochastics broke through 50 today. Wasn't able to do that on that last pop, so... This could be the beginnings of the real move at ONT with a target of 55 and 64 cents here. VG, I know this is a stock just like Sirius that traders hate, gets bashed all the time. But look at this chart. I mean, since the March lows, it's held its trend line all the way up. So it's got really strong support at 40 cents. Sellers at 50 cents, which means between 40 and 42 cents. We pick up a scalp play and look for at least, you know, a 20% gain. What is there not to like here? I mean, it gives us constant entries. Looks really, really good. We have a scalp position, a core position. And we just play the chart. Uh, resistance on stochastics. We'll need a 50 over that to confirm. But like I've mentioned before in the chat room, ADX has remained absolutely, you know, rock solid throughout the last two months. And, and that is pretty bullish for the stock. It's frustrating. It's got a large float. But... Uh, a big move's coming. You know, it's given us a couple of nice percentage moves here recently. And, you know, it's shaping up for another move here in the near term. Speaking of serious, uh, you know, it just gets con constantly bashed. Uh, nothing but good news comes out and they just keep bashing the crap out of the stock. Big moves coming here pretty soon. Close over 40 cents. Sets this one free. Would add a scalp position. 35 cents we continue to hold our core position but a close above the 50-day moving average should finally set this one free rsi looks really good uh stochastics is nicely oversold so keep a close eye on sirius over the next couple of days acls awesome news yesterday 61 cents in pre-market uh, but it continues to get sold here Back down to the 50-day moving average. Still very much like this play. I mean, you can't really go wrong buying a tech stock, trading below cash value. Let them play their games. You know, small position on this one. You buy it at 47 cents. You get a 30% gain on a move to 60 cents. And if it gets a close above 60, you look to add that position back. But uh, really, really nice when there's not very many decent, cash-rich, no-debt stocks left. ASTM, we picked this one up the other day after the retrace. Actually, the stock is trading at 41 cents in after hours. So, you know, we've got a, what, 15% gain in this one already. So don't feel bad about booking gains. I believe it's up just on the, actually, I don't really know why, OSIR reported news on their adult stem cell trial. But if you actually read the report, the news wasn't that great. So might be just someone reading the headline for OSIR and not digging into the details and chasing ASTM because it's uh, an adult stem cell play. So we'll see what happens on that one. But, you know, don't feel bad about taking your 15% profit on this one in the after hours. So that's pretty much it for the video. You know, we've got a nice little consolidation here. We've had a nice 600-point uh, retrace in the Dow over the last couple of weeks. Starting to see all the shorts piling in and especially the uh, bulls who are unable to trade longs right now thinking it's time to flip to the short side. You know, right ahead of uh, quarter end wrist window dressing. Smart plan there, guys. Let's see what the Fed does for us tomorrow, but uh, they're already starting to jam oil. And, you know, a positive oil move probably means they're going to jam stocks here pretty damn soon. Still remaining high cash, but uh, we might be floating to some place tomorrow if we get that upside break of 8400 That's it for the video. See you guys in the chat room tomorrow. Good night.